Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to go ahead and update you guys with kind of like my day two progress uh, in the flashback league. I didn't actually play yesterday, so I'm going to update you guys as from where we are right now. Uh, as you can see, we're doing really good. Uh, I've got myself a Gold Rim along with a Cloak of Defiance, and we've actually self-found four exalts. Um, the only part that's kind of weird about this is that we're still in uh, Act 8, and we haven't even gone to Act 9 yet. Uh, I'm level 73, and our gems are more than halfway to level 19. Um, and the reason for this and why this is happening is because I am trying to find myself a Pledge of Hands. Now, Pledge of Hands requires... Did I actually move the card? Pledge of Hands requires uh, this really specific card or divination card called... I don't even remember what it's called. Is it the Pact? The Pact. Here we go, the Pact. And the Pact is actually really fucking rare to find from the area that I've been trying to farm it, uh, which is essentially the Key slash Quay. It's so rare that my Exalt to Card ratio is out of control. I have found three pure exalts inside that area trying to farm the pack. That's kind of a comparison of how rare it is, if you guys are curious. I've also found uh, 7, 14, uh, 15, 16, 17 lucky connections, uh, which is where my fusings have come from. Uh, I found God knows how many dying anguishes and a bunch of other stuff. Um, like a bunch of uniques and stuff that I've done. So if you guys want to find a Pledge of Hands, I'd recommend either find trying to farm it in like the map version, uh, potentially trying to get it from a prophecy, or probably the better way of doing it is beast crafting with uniques, or even potentially uh, using ancient orbs on like a unique staff to try to get a Pledge of Hands. Since I'm already this committed into my journey, I'm going to go ahead and just continue farming uh, for my Pledge of Hands. Now, one thing to note is that um, the two that I have gotten were actually kind of like within 15 minutes of each other. Um, I found two in the past nine and a half hours of farming, um, and both of them were out of a breach. It wasn't even a high density breach, it was pretty much just a breach. I'm also using Sedimas to offset the level penalty a little bit, uh, so we do get that 13% quantity. And just because at this point, I don't even fucking know, I'm just putting a little bit of rarity on my character wherever I can find it. Uh, just because if I'm going to be in here for 14 years, I might as well just try to get something out of it. And there's that whole debate of whether or not rarity works for certain things like currency. So to give you an example of how I'm farming this, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. So I've gone to this instance called Key, and or Quay, and I pretty much just run and kill everything. Now, um, a method that I've been using personally for farming this zone uh, is that if I have like Abyss or if I have Breach or even if I have Kadiro, for example, um, with Kadiro, if I find Kadiro in the instance, I simply would uh, just teleport out and do exactly what I just did. Take the waypoint from Grain, uh, Grain Crate or whatever it's called, Granary, and then just come right back in. If you find an Abyss, uh, do the same thing. And if you find a Breach, do the same thing. And the reason why is... Breaches and Abyss have huge density uh, and drop rate compared to your, your just standard white mobs. Um, and since you can find only one Abyss per zone and one Breach per zone, unless you get lucky you can find two Abysses because there's always a chance that you can find Abyss naturally, I believe, uh, in these lower level zones. Not starting from like level 1 immediately, but just in the lower level zones. Uh, yeah, the layout is kind of a bit weird, though, because... Let's see, let's go over here. Here we go. Also, this invasion boss is a pain in the ass, so always throw a net at him, so he can't run away.
Anyway, you guys get the gist of it. So, um, things to do with this character and stuff like that is the following. Uh, so since we now have our ascendancy from Cruel Lab, uh, which is Mastermind of Discord, I ended up dropping Wrath and I'm just running Double Herald, uh, Herald of Thunder and Herald of Ice. I was using Clarity, but since I did find a, um, a Cloak of Defiance while uh, hunting for my cards, I actually found him in a Kadiro. I didn't really need Clarity anymore, so I decided to drop it since I can't really run out of mana. Um, I was thinking as well for Merc Lab, I may pick up Paragon of Calamity, and then when I get Uber Lab, I'll probably just respec and go into Beacon of Ruin. Um, I also found a pseudo 5 link pair of gloves. Where are they? These ones. Uh, Kalisa's Grace are pretty cool because they give level 18 faster casting along with a life roll. And the reason why that's good is it's basically just a 5 link that I don't really have to waste my fusings on. So if I want to start mapping uh, and I just decide like fuck this idea of pledge right now and try to get it later, I'll just swap to these and keep my Cloak of Defiance as it is until I get a pledge of hands and then I'll swap these gloves back over. Um, what else do we find? Uh, with our tree we have the entire layout set to go crit. Uh, as you can see I have elemental overload still. I'm slowly peaking points uh, into crit now right before I respec. I've got the crit on here, Annihilation, we've got crit here at Assassination, Doomcast coming up, I'll respec these two nodes and these two nodes, we also have Serpent Stance to pick up once we go staves, Arcane Potency is another crit wheel, and the last one being uh, Counterweight and this little spot here. Um, I don't actually know if Blunt Trauma works with Spell Knockback, I don't think it does, I think this is only for attacks. But this would be really cool if it does work with spells, but unfortunately, I don't really think it does. Uh, I spec the dex node just to keep leveling the Herald of Ice. Remember that your Herald of Ice is going to be super strong because you do get 25 cold pen on top of the uh, additive cold damage it gives and then the increased effect of it. So freezing targets is going to be super cool. Once we get our Beacon of Ruin, we'll be able to freeze and shock entire packs with our just first arc because the arc is going to land, it's going to prolif, and as the arc bounces, it's going to create new prolif points, so it'll kind of like spread in, into the pack. That's kind of weird to explain, but this is like super excited to get. Uh, unfortunately, it's not going to be until Uber Lab. Um, in terms of everything else, the character is pretty much good to go, up and running. I just really have to get this damn Pledge of Hands, uh, and I'm pretty stubborn, so I'm probably just going to sit here and commit to it until we get the full, um, the pact that may be level 80, hopefully it's before we get level 20 gems, but at the rate it's going at, I swear I'm probably going to have level 20 gems at that point. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway though, just to keep you guys updated with what's going on, that's pretty much about it. Um, hope you guys have had a wonderful time, hope you guys are enjoying the league as much as I am. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much about it. I'm pretty fucking tired because I've been up for like 30 hours. So hope you guys have a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Remember, if you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash box. See you guys all tomorrow.